Kay, and God bless you, men and women of God. I hope that all is well with you today. Praise God. Today has been a wonderful day. Today is the day the Lord has made, and I have rejoiced and been glad in it. Praise God. Today is day 19 of the fast, and everything is going great. Feeling really good today. Um, experienced some severe hunger pains. Severe. I mean, it's it's been worse than what it typically had been. Um, typically than what it had been over the past 18 days. Um, also, I work in an environment where a lot of food is around, so that did not really help any. But praise God. I just kept on pressing my way through because I mean to finish the race and go all the way to the end of it and um, just declare the works of the Lord and know that He has great things in store for me at the end of this fast or even in the midst of it. He's been doing amazing things during the midst of this fast, praise God. Um, I heard, I've, I've heard from the Lord on some things, some instructions that He's given me to do um, on a personal level for me. Um, um, ministry wise praise God so I am going to yield and, and follow through on what he has instructed me to do which is to pray for every country throughout this world so praise God I've been trying to uh, get some research done I've, I've uh, learned that there are seven continents there's 120 195 countries and um, I am to do that over the next 20 days which would be the remainder of my fast and in that 20 days there I, I would name nine, nine and a half, well, yeah, let's say ten countries per day, um, which would total out to 20 days of fasting. So almost two, well, it would put it at right around 200 countries, but um, there's not, there's only 195, so I will name like one here and there sparingly until I get all of them named throughout the 20 days of my fast. Um, remaining part of my fast which would be a total of 40 days and the number 40 represents completion um, uh, Moses fasted for 40 days Jesus you already know fasted for 40 days Elijah fasted twice for 40 days um, there were some others that fasted for, for 40 days or twice for 40 days um, there was Daniel that fasted for 21 days um, so uh, there was there was Elizabeth who fasted for three days, um, Esther, excuse me, Esther who fasted for three days. So um, praise God, prayer and fasting definitely does work. It's, it goes hand in hand. Jesus commanded it. So if He commanded it and if He done it, then praise God, we must do it, people of God, in order to experience the the high calling from God um, the experience the blessings from God we have to fast and pray he said when you fast that's what Jesus said when you fast also pray um, so both of them do go hand in hand and we have to we have to do that there's no way around it if you want the closest relationship you can possibly get with God with the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go into a fast. See, don't you get just what you want to experience from God. If you want healing in your body, you'll get it. If you want to get peace of mind, love, joy, kindness, meekness, long-suffering, love, you'll get it. If you want hope, you'll get that too. If you um, are more on the material side and you want material blessings such as uh, brand new this and brand new that, You'll get it. Now, don't, don't think you can negotiate with God this way. Um, it's not a good thing to do. Um, but um, he, he does hear the prayers of the righteous. And um, their prayers do avail of much. And also, um, he, he inhabits in the praises of his people. And, and this is a part of praise, actually, because you will praise God through a fast. You will worship God through a fast. You will... You will pray through a fast. Believe me, I know it. I'm experiencing it right now. And don't get me wrong. I am loving every single solitary moment of this time that I have with oh, our Lord and Savior. There is nothing else that I would rather do right now. I could, I, I mean, in a million years, if I had a million years on my side, that is, 
you could have never told me that I would be doing this. I would be doing a fast like this or and, and extended and no food. Never. But see, that's the way God does things. God does things for His own glory. And He will give us the strength to do whatever we ask in, in the name of Jesus. And if you notice when you pray in the way that Jesus taught the prayer, this, this is also the, something that came in my spirit yesterday. In the part where it says, um, uh, give us our daily bread. That part right there was so profound, profound to me. Because God has only given me what I need daily in order to survive through this fast. And what he's given me is nourishing my body to keep me strong. It's sustaining me, which is his word. And also, you know, the water and the vitamins and uh, the juice that, I, um, that, that I've been doing. And it's only been a daily portion. It hasn't been no overwhelming abundance of um, drinking you know like a whole lot of juice just enough I'm, I'm, I'm people of God I'm blown away I'm serious I am so blown away because I mean I'm not like the smallest person I'm not the biggest person but I'm not the smallest person either and I mean I could put some food away okay uh, seriously though I could put some food away and not think another thought about it and now it's like one cup of juice, I mean one eight ounce cup of juice, and I'm finished. I'm done and, and happy, satisfied, more than satisfied. Yeah, and just like, you know, the, the, children, of, of, um, the children of Israel, when God was giving them daily manna, they didn't have not a sniffle, sneeze, cold, nothing. Wow, isn't that profound? Isn't that, I mean, that's the way God does things. He's just a supernatural, awesome God. Oh, how great our God is. But anyway, um, today I actually had a complete green juice. So here's what I put in it. I put a head of lettuce, romaine lettuce. I put two celery sticks two carrots, a bunch of parsley, one bunch, the whole bunch that you would buy from the store, a bunch of parsley, one zucchini, one cucumber, and to give it just a little bit of sweetness to keep take that bitter bite out, I did um, a quarter of a pineapple to give it, just to give it a little bit of better flavor than what it would have had with just the greens in it. So that's what I had for my juice for today. Of course, as I mentioned, I have one juice a day. That's it. That's all. After that, um, it's just water. And um, let me see. What else can I tell you today? Um, of course, study the scriptures. Um, uh, and pretty much just went throughout my day. Today, I believe my weight is at 189 pounds. Yes, at 189 pounds. And that was from almost 20 days ago. 19 days ago today, I was 206 pounds. I stand 5'8 and a half in height. Um, so, actually, 200 pounds was, blah, 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 is okay. Um, but I could tell the difference what the 17, 16 or 17 pounds being gone or off versus when they were on because I was having severe back pain or back pain constantly um, before I started my fast but praise God now I'm not experiencing the back pain at all um, I was experiencing low energy when I first started the fast and now I can keep on going and going and going like the Ever Ready Bunny so praise God, fasting and prayer does do miracles for the body, the mind, the soul, the spirit, the relationship with God, just all of it as a whole. But anyway, people of God, you know I'm not going to hold you like I normally don't, but I did want to share those things with you. 
You be blessed. Please do subscribe. See you tomorrow. God bless you.